Chapter 3 Hindus and Hinduism This is the Ganges River in India. Like the Indus River, the Ganges flows down from the Himalayan mountains. Like the Indus, its fertile plain has long provided life to the people of India, supplying water for their crops. But the Ganges has a much greater importance in the lives of many Indians. It is the sacred river of the Hindus. In fact, the Ganges is one of the most sacred places in all of India. It is the dream of the Hindu people from all over the world to someday visit the Ganges and worship its sacred waters. In this picture, you can see Hindus gathering in the water to bathe in it, which they believe will wash away their sins or wrongdoings. Millions of Hindus make the trip every year. Who are the Hindu people who worship the Ganges? Hindus belong to the world's oldest religion, Hinduism. It is the third largest re religion in the world and most pra widely practiced religion in India. And Hindus, the people who practice Hinduism, live in many countries all over the world, including the United States. Unlike some religions that worship only one god, Hindus worship many gods and goddesses. In fact, their gods and goddesses, which are male and female, take many different forms. For example, Hindus believe that the Ganges is the earth home of Ganga, the river goddess. That is why the river is such a holy place. There are over 300 million gods and goddesses in Hinduism. Each of these gods and goddesses represents or stands for something Hindus called Brahman. In Hinduism, Brahman, Brahman is a spiritual force which Hindus believe is the source of all existence or life. Hindus believe everything comes from, from and is related to Brahman. All of the Hindu gods and goddesses represent Brahman, the source of life. Of all the gods and goddesses that represent Brahman, the three most important gods are known as Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Hindus believe that the god Brahma, not to be confused with the spiritual force of Brahman, is the god of creation, the one who created heaven and earth, the moon and the sun, the planets and the stars, the whole universe. Everything and everyone is a part of Brahma, the creator and god of wisdom. He is often painted or carved as he is in the picture, having four faces and four arms. Hindus believe the god Vishnu is the protector of the universe and the perseverer of life. Vishnu is also portrayed with four arms. In each hand, he holds Hindu symbols of the universe, including a club, a discus, a conch shell, and a lotus flower. Hindus believe it is Vishnu's job to keep order on earth, making sure that everyone and everything is safe. The third most important god in Hinduism, Shiva, is considered both a creator and a destroyer of the universe. He is often pictured as a dancer. A third eye in the center of his forehead is capable of shooting out fire. Shiva's powerful energy is believed to control nature. In fact, according to Hindu legend, Ganja, the river goddess came to earth by way of Shiva's flowing, tangled mass of hair. Raging violently down from heaven, the river flowed through Shiva's hair, calming its waters before reaching earth. Thus, Hindus believe that Shiva, the destroyer, did indeed destroy the rage in the river's waters and prevented greater destruction on earth. In the past, Brahma has worshipped by many, was worshipped by many, Today, Hindus mainly worship Shiva and Vishnu. Christians, Jews, and Muslims all have and worship a single God. Their religions each have one holy book. Hindus, on the other hand, have many gods and goddesses and have many sacred books. 
The most important among these books are the Vedas, which are sacred hymns and verses. The most important collection of these verses is the Rig Veda. It is a very ancient book, over 3,000 years old. People who follow Hinduism, like many other religions, believe that people should be good and kind to one another here on earth. Hindus try to live their everyday lives by working hard, telling the truth, and doing their duty for friends and family. Duty is one's responsibility, doing what one knows is right, the right thing to do. The Hindus call this Dharma. Dharma, or duty, is tied to another important belief of Hinduism. Hindus believe that all creatures, humans and animals alike, have invisible parts called souls that continue to live after they die. Hindus also believe these invisible parts are reincarnated, or born again, into the body of another person or animal on earth. The Hindu believe in the soul's rebirth called reincarnation. Hindus believe that those who fulfill their dharma, or duties to others, will be spared many cycles of reincarnation. They also believe that those who practice a good life on earth will be freed from life's troubles much sooner, becoming part of Brahman, and at peace forever. Review Questions I will ask you a question. As I, after I ask the question, they take a minute and think about your answer. If you need to pause to think about your answer, go ahead. I will then give you the answer of the question. Question number one. What two rivers flow down from the Himalayan mountains? The answer is the Indus and the Ganges rivers. Question two, which of these two rivers do many Indians believe to be sacred? The answer, the Ganges River. Question number three, you learned that there are many gods and goddesses in Hinduism. What are the names of the three most important? The answer, Vishnu, Shiva, and Brahma. Question four. What do we call the holy texts or books in Hinduism? The answer is Vedas. Which one is considered the most important? The answer is the Rig Veda.